what are streams? Um, streams are basically it's it's table data tracking. So think of streams like a bookmark. Um, it's really kind of change data capture for uh, it's it's change data tracking, right? It's it's tracking for the tables. Um, and so what we've got here, the diagram. Let's say we've got a table. Um, you can see in our little diagram here, we've got version one, version two, version three. So this is what this represents as a table, right? We've got a table. We're inserting records into this table. We're updating data uh, records in this table, um, which of course in Snowflake, since the micro partitions are immutable, the update is really, and we're gonna talk about this in a minute, is really an expiration of the record in one micro partition and inserting another record into a new micro partition. Uh, but every every time you see the V here, what this is, is another commit. Uh, this is another commit for this table. So version one, uh, we committed some, we inserted some records, we did a commit. Version two, we did some updates, we did a commit. Version three, we did some deletes, we did a commit. With time, with a stream, what a stream does is it creates an offset. And it says, okay, I've got a point in time. And then what happens is once that stream is set, any commits that happen to that table after that stream is set, uh, they're going to be uh, captured in that stream so that we can actually, if we query the stream, we can query the stream just like a table. You'll see that when we actually get into the demo. So we can query the stream just like a table, uh, but what we're gonna see in the stream is that we're only going to have new or updated records and we'll talk about, there's a couple of different types of streams. We'll talk about those in a moment. One of the things with streams is that when we consume a stream, the data in that stream is, is now gone. So that's one of the things that's important, um, that anytime there's a DML statement that's run against the stream, then that stream is cleared out. And so one of the questions is, okay, well, let's say that we have uh, a table and we need to be able to, to uh, have different uh, multiple consumers of the stream. So you can see here's the example up here. We can set up multiple streams on a table. We can have all kinds of streams on the same table. And so, and you'll see, we'll have some examples of this uh, in the demo. Uh, so we might have one stream that we use uh, to process inserts. We might have another stream that we use. We wanna do something different with delete. Uh, so there's different ways to be able to do, the, to uh, process those streams. Hey folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.